Well, here we are up on top of a fire tower, an observation tower, Lake Fontana, winding, winding all the way down to where I was just a moment ago. Seems so far away. There's the Fontana Dam. Way the heck back there. So I came up on that ridge, came wrapped around, and came up over the hills, and here we are, smack dab in, in the middle of the Great Smoky Mountain National Park in the Great Smoky Mountain region of North Carolina. I'm really close to the Tennessee border as we pan around to east and wrap it around back down to the south over here. And uh, I've got one more flight to go, but it seems to be uh, encased with a uh, you know, plastic and uh, it's quite foggy so I thought it would be best to shoot down below here where it's unobstructed. You, you know what I'm trying to say. Unobstructed. Thank you very much. Ah. But uh, this was actually a side tour. You know, tenth of a mile. I dropped my pack down yonder and I'm gonna actually go back and make a snack here. I am in the Great Smoky Mountains and and, uh, and actually, and this is a long way down. We have a, a chimney over here with a foundation, you know, around it. Some type of a living quarters. Probably looks like a very long time ago. So uh, as we're panning here, you can see, uh, you know, down and, well, can't even see all the way down. But yeah, and that's it. We're here, folks. That's where I'm going. Yeah. The highest peak in the AT is coming up in a day or so. And uh, I do believe in the smoke. Kilimans Dome, I believe it's called. And that's it there. And here we have another perspective of the fire tower. And from the ground, here's the foundation. There's obviously a, uh, a chimney here. And uh, it's quite old, as we can see. So this is uh, perhaps an old dwelling. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I do believe that I'm showing um, other other days and other other weather um, type um, situations other than rain and hail. Want you to? I stepped off the the trail again just for a moment. This is the trail that limb just came crashing down. I jumped out of the way just in time, but uh, the uh, I'm heading south and that's down that way. So is the water. So uh, I thought I'd give it a, a moment here, but yeah. A lot of big storms this year, I guess. Uh, the last one I was in and, and videoed it uh, spun out uh, uh, three tornadoes. I went into town uh, the next day to resupply. Uh, they said three tornadoes spun out of that storm and uh, the, there was, you know, loss of power for days in, uh, for some residents out there in Robbinsville. But, uh, yeah, so it stopped hailing, so now I'll go back out and and, uh, and check on. I really wanted to get another five miles today, but uh, there's another shelter in three, and then another in two. It would have been a ball. Beautiful views. I'll still uh, I'll still consider it, but I'm gonna get to that first shelter first. I just had to hike around this. This tree is actually on the trail. This is the other side. I actually had to hike around it. This thing just flew down. It's enormous. Uh, it actually came from uh, yeah, way up there. Just snapped right off, just like that. Happens all the time. All the time. This is probably the most dangerous part of uh, hiking the Appalachian Trail. It's not the bears. It's the storms. Yeah, that would have hurt. That certainly would have gave you a headache. 
That's as if it didn't kill you first. Boy, that was a big old tree came down. Well, on a clear day, I see Tennessee over there. Well, we're in North Carolina, but uh, we'll be going uh, after the Great Smoky Mountains here. We'll be going in and out of uh, Tennessee and the North Carolina border. But, and they say uh, on top of this bald here, you will, uh, you can see that. But uh, we have another storm come in uh, this morning, and, uh, and it's made it quite chilly here. Yeah, you wonder why I'm in a short sleeve shirt. It's, it was all uphill, so yeah, you know, I I was heated up plenty. So here we go, going on down, gonna pick up some water in a while and, and take me a little break. The Smokies are the beginning airs. We got some high peaks to come, but uh, I'll be in the 5,000 and 6,000 feet range, you know, constantly here soon in another day or so. And uh, one of the hardest things, oh boy, after that storm yesterday, again, uh, one of the hardest things to do is put your wet clothes back on in the morning. But you want to keep your dry clothes. You want to have, you want to have some dry clothes. And when you go into camp and you're cold, and it's late, and you're tired. You have some, some warm, dry clothes to put on. So you need that. You can't be bringing a damn wardrobe up here. So, you know, to change the clothes is usually about it. And uh, we have these gorgeous orange azaleas again up there. I should have panned uh, the camera while I was up on the bald. But uh, there's the rhododendrons were up there too. And, uh, you know, small mountain bush blueberries. A lot of a lot of blackberries too, but these these just are stunning. These blow me away. These orange azaleas. Yeah, and you can even see the iron mineral in the rock itself. It's almost like a deep, almost bronze, is uh, red color to it. You know, especially the the polished bits. But uh, Charlie's bunion, hold on to your children. <laughs> I'm gonna definitely keep them on a leash, that's for sure. Stick off your teeth, your teeth will push you off. Yeah. Show your parents. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, some beautiful, beautiful views, though. Holy yeah. smokes. There you go. Yeah. Definitely a must-see, uh, a must-see stop. Wonderful. Boy, watch your step, huh? You keep a long, I do that too. Yeah, had a long since you were Wonderful, is this recording a little, little pigeon river? I'll take that.